What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Mind Something. If you're new here, my name is Jake and in today's video, it's been about five months since the ETH merge and miners are still struggling for a way to describe the size of their farm. Now, some of you have been here since before the merge and some of you have not. And if I were to ask you, how big is your farm? How would you respond? Would you describe it in terms of ETH hash rate? Or would you spout off every single GPU that you have? I think that it's time for a new standard. In fact, I thought this way for quite a while. And if you go back through my videos here, about three months ago, this particular video right here, the Back to the Future one, I came up with a formula to using the specs of the card determine a number to compare it to other GPUs. So in that particular video, the only GPUs that I had added to this spreadsheet uh, was the 3000 series and then the 6000 series for AMD. And I've made a lot of changes since then. And I want to go over those changes with you guys today. And one of the main reasons that I'm doing this right now is because a couple of days ago I was watching a video from Chump Change XD and I could see the frustration and he even mentioned it. He was like, I don't know how, how to say how big my farm is anymore. ETH is gone and we've had so many different coins be the most profitable since the merge that we don't have a de facto. And when I first made this video, there was only about 1500 subscribers on the channel. We've doubled that since then and I'm hoping that you guys will spread the word. So at the end of this video or now depending on when you want to do it, I would like for you to use this new formula to describe the size of your farm and just leave it down in the comments below. So let me show you the changes that I've made to the spreadsheet. So we've got the 3000 series, we've got the 6000 series, now we have the 4000 series. We're still lacking specs on a couple of cards. So the 4060 Ti and the 4060. And I believe we'll have a 4050 as well. And then we've got most of the 7000 series GPUs. We've got all the 10 series cards. We've got the 20 series cards. We've got the 1660 Super, the 1660 Ti, and then the 5000 series GPUs. And using the bus size, the CUDA cores, the memory bandwidth, the base clock speed, and the boost clock speed, we come up with something called TPA, or Total Performance Average. Now, this is important to know that this is using the specs of the card and not the hash rate from every single algorithm that's out there. And there's a couple of reasons that I went this direction. A there's going to be more algorithms and B some of the algorithms that we have now will change as well as miners releasing newer versions that are more efficient than older versions and there's going to be new coins and new algorithms that come out in the future now son of a tech speculates that there will eventually be one coin that will remain king among profitability against all others. But I pose the question, what if there's not one? What if we continue to jump between one coin to another for the highest profitability? In fact, even when Ethereum was still around, there were times that other coins were more profitable than Ethereum. For example, Ergo stepped up several times uh, towards the end of Ethereum and was more profitable to mine than Ethereum was. So I really think this should be the standard going forward, but I need y'all's help in order to spread the word. So let me give you a couple of examples here. So I'm going to leave a link to this spreadsheet down in the description, but I am not going to make this particular link editable. What you're going to need to do is you're going to highlight the entire spreadsheet here. You're going to copy it and then you're going to go file new spreadsheet. Start in the upper right or upper left hand corner and then just paste it. 
And there you go. Now you have your own version of this that you don't have to worry about someone else editing or breaking. So going back to the original here, I've got a couple of examples. So let's say for example, a 6700 and a 3060. They're both very comparable on the TPA calculator. So for example, a 6700 XT scores a 67.475 and a 3060 scores a 63.7. And when it comes to algorithms and their performance on each of them, for example, Ergo, you get 90 mega hash on a 6700 XT, and on a 3060, you get 115. On ETH, they both were pretty similar, 46 mega hash versus 48. On Raven, they were identical, both at 22 souls. And on Flux, uh, excuse me, mega hash on flux we're talking about souls so 54 mega hash on a 6700 or <laughs> i just made a mistake there again 54 souls on a 6700 xt versus 39 souls on a 3060 and then for caspa eh, kind of similar 420 mega hash versus 370 mega hash now these are just five independent algorithms not all of them we're just taking five if you were to add those five numbers together and then divide by five, you'd get a score of 126 on a 6700 XT and a score of 118 on a 3060. But we're not using every single algorithm. And again, the reason we're not is because A, some algorithms will change, B, there's going to be new algorithms, and C, new miners will get more efficient on some of these algorithms. So using the TPA calculator, a 6700 is gonna score 67, and a 3060 is gonna score 63. Now there's a ratio between these two, and in this case, if you used five different algorithms, that would give you a difference of about 6.7%. Using the TPA calculator, it gives you a difference of about 5.9%. So a couple other examples here. Um, a rig with six 3090 TIs would score 869 on the TPA calculator. A rig with six 3070s would be 543, and a rig with three 6800 XTs and three 6700 XTs would be a score of 442. So you can use this calculator to just go in here and add however many GPUs and whichever GPUs you have and then at the end it's going to spit out a number for you and that's going to be your tpa score so i'd love to see your comments down below i know this is wild outlandish but if enough people share this with other let's say for instance youtubers if if you watch son of a tech if you watch red panda mining if you watch chump change xd if you watch seb heslo all of these guys out here if enough people talk about it it will get adopted, and I really think that there should be a different standard. But that's all I got for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. Do me a favor before you leave. Hit that like and hit the subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you on the next one.